How's it going, my peeps? Quick little supercar video. So I just re-downloaded the game because I've had an issue for a while now where whenever there's a Road to Glory PCC, I can't actually see the card. I can't see the picture on the card. So for the Randy versus Ambrose PCC, I couldn't see the Randy card or the Ambrose one. And uh, for the, the past, I think, three People's Champion, no, three Road to Glories, I haven't been able to see the actual picture of the card. The only place I've been able to see the picture is on the Supercar forums, and that's pretty much it. So, once again, I just re-downloaded the game. Hopefully that fixes it, but the Road to Glory right now is supposed to be Neville, right? And so Neville's supposed to be on the main menu screen, the screen you're looking at right now. But I can't see Neville, so this is not a good sign going into this. So, let's find out if the issue is fixed or not. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, so I've got to log in first. We'll log in. I mean, I'm going to log in with Google+. Plus. Um, and uh, let's see. Let's see if it works. Come on. Please work. Although, let's see. Hold on. Can I see Neville? Can I see? Yes! It worked! I can see the Dan Neville card, and I can see the pop-up. That was something else, too. Whenever there would be a pop-up announcing the next Road to Glory P PCC, I get this pop-up, but without the image up top. So finally, it's been fixed. I'm happy about that. I thought it was an issue with my phone storage, because I don't have enough... I don't have too much space left on my phone. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad it's fixed. I actually tried to record a super hard video for you guys on Friday. It was a 20-minute video. And what I did, since there was no picture for, like, the Road to Glory cards... I was recording it on the iPad, and pretty much I record I recorded it for nothing. I wasted 20 minutes. The video cut out, I think, like six minutes in or something like that. So, yeah, not doing that again. So, glad this works now. And once again, Neville is the Road to Glory superstar for this, for this week. And uh, it was supposed to be a PCC this week, but on the forums... They asked if the people wanted a Road to Glory or People's Champion Challenge. And it was pretty obvious Road to Glory was going to win. I mean, I, I don't see... I don't see the advantage of PCC over Road to Glory. Uh, most of the time, the Road to Glory cards tend to be better. And you don't have to spend as much time in Road to Glory as PCC. Because on PCC, you're constantly trying to move up in rank. Not only that, but you also constantly trying to keep your rank so if you're at a high rank you've got to keep playing to keep that rank while in road to glory really you're only playing for yourself and i guess and against the cpu and nobody else matters there's nobody that's going to take that prize away from you so anyways just to update you guys on a couple things uh i got my eighth survivor fusion a couple days ago or about a week ago or something like that i'm not trying to reference the song but yeah I did get the Survivor Fusion card a while back, and if you guys are wondering which card I got this time, it is... I'll show you guys later on. I'll show you guys uh, towards the end of the video. But as you can see right here, I got the Kane card. Not just one, but I got both. This one ain't leveled up yet, but uh, this one is maxed out. And uh, of course, I also got the Saffron's card. I don't, I don't even think I updated you guys on that. I don't think I told you guys if I got the Saffron's card or not. Um, basically, the reason behind me not posting up Supercard videos for... How long has it been? A week? Or maybe two weeks? I think it's been two weeks. Is, one, I, I wasn't playing the game that much after the last time I posted up a video. Like, I guess I took a break or whatever. I, I just didn't bother playing. And uh, also, the whole issue with the pictures, so you guys couldn't see... The, the Seth Rollins picture, it was like a, a black silhouette of a superstar and like a red download arrow or whatever. And I also couldn't see any of the other r recent Road to Glory cards. I could see the Bret Hart one and the Triple H one and the Daniel Bryan one. Although the Daniel Bryan one during that PCC, I don't think I could see the card or after the PCC, something like that. And uh, I couldn't see the Kane card either. And as far as the Dean Ambrose and Randy PCC, I didn't, I didn't participate in that. How about we join a match, even though this isn't my ideal deck how about we join the match right now actually you know what let me switch out kane here no i don't want to train him right now um uh, although i could have just used those two comedy cards right there yeah i wanna there we go oh level two 
All right, let me swap him out. I'm just going to put uh, Triple H instead because he's another right arrow. I'm glad Kane was a right arrow. Um, who did I say I was going to pick? Triple H. Okay, there we go. All right, so how about we go into exhibition, play a couple matches. Um, let's go. Let's play against... I don't know. Let's play against the first person, Willie. And now let's see how we do. Now, this isn't going to be the entire video. It's not just going to be exhibition matches. I just, I just thought I'd play an exhibition match just because. So, let's go right. Charisma. Uh, so, I think Bret Hart has the highest charisma here. So, we're going to go with Bret. Oh, crap. Damn. Uh, yes, I got... Aw, oh, shit. I was like, yeah, I got a boost. All right, guys. So, I'm back. For some reason, the game stopped. Like, it, it just crashed. Which is the first time I think it's happened since I got the game or something like that, or since I downloaded the game. How about we go back to Exhibition? I think that was a loss because it disconnected me. So let's face off against the first guy once again. Uh, and hopefully this time it doesn't disconnect us. I was Bret Hart versus Bret Hart. I was about to lose that one. Uh, but yeah, it crashed. All right, so solo match power. Now let's go with Triple H. And we get this one, or do we? No, we don't, oh damn. Alright, so once again, a boost, or a decrease to me, came into effect, and that made me lose that one. Alright, so tag team match, power and toughness, we're definitely going to go with Kane, and we're going to go with Bret Hart. Kane and Bret, we should get this one, and yes, we do. Now, what's going to be the third match, though? Is it going to be a Divas match or a Superstar match? I'm hoping it's a Superstar match. Alright, good. Unfortunately, though, it is Charisma. Seth doesn't have the highest Charisma, although he does have... What is weird is he does have... Aw, oh crap. I'm, yeah, I'm losing this one. He does have more charisma than Triple H, which is weird. I would have, you know, I would have thought Triple H would have, would have, you know, higher charisma than Seth Rollins. But, uh, there's a lot of other cards in this game with weird stats like that. For instance, The Miz, who has, I think, power and speed as his highest stats. And charisma is like his lowest stat or something. Or his second lowest, I'm not sure. Alright, so Tag Team Speed, we can't end this on a loss, we can't end the exhibition matches on a loss, so Tag Team Speed, we're going to go with Seth Rollins and, oh, hold on, yeah, I'm going to go with Triple H and Seth Rollins, and damn, no, we're not going to get this one, uh, he wins this one, <laughs> this is definitely not my optimal deck, I haven't, you know, probed these cards yet, which I will be doing soon, guys, don't worry, I'll, I'll be proing them, maybe this week or the next week. So it's all right, toughness, we're going to go with Kane. And we got this one. Bo Dallas is like one of the worst cards in the game. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with the boost here, but I don't think I'm going to get... Oh, okay, we got this one. All right, so we won. So it's one and one. And uh, I think we're going to end it at that for these exhibition matches. I want to go to the Road to Glory quickly. All right, there we go. Now let's go back to Road to Glory here. We're not go... No, I don't want to go back to the main menu screen. Alright, so, Road to Glory. Uh, Neville was actually initially a um, blue right triangle, a right blue triangle. But then they switched him up from right blue triangle to a bottom yellow triangle. I'm actually happy about that, but I kind of would have preferred him to be switched to a left um, blue triangle. Because I need that in my deck right now. Uh, that way I would have two right blue triangles and two left blue triangles in my exhibition deck now with neville as a yellow blue triangle if i do get neville if i do get both of them then i would put him in my exhibition deck he he'd be used as a singles card i would have preferred to have him you know available for a tag team but can't do that unless i put my fusion reigns in my deck but why put fusion reigns when i can put a wrestlemania uh road to glory wrestlemania pro instead so just looking at the cards here, it just looks like guys that Neville has feuded with or faced off against in the past. Uh, I know Titus O'Neil, uh, John Cena recently, Bo Dallas, he's going to face off against Neville, and they faced off before. Uh, Bad News Barrett, you know, they've had a feud, they faced off a couple times. And yeah, and also, he uh, his boost or his special, abil special ability... Uh, was initially going to boost his power and charisma, which was kind of weird. 
but now they switched it up to power and speed, which I think makes a lot more sense. And uh, as we can see from the card here, speed is his highest stat, which makes sense. His second highest stat is power. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess he is power. Like, he's a strong dude for his size. So, I don't know. It might make... Yeah, I guess you could say it makes sense. But maybe he boosts... I don't know. Maybe I would have made his charisma and power equal. Uh, at least he's not like the Miz. You know, the Miz is super inaccurate in this game when it comes to stats. And uh, Seth Rollins having higher charisma than Triple H is also another weird thing. But yeah, so now it's boosting power and speed. He's a yellow uh, bottom blue triangle. Bottom, a yellow bottom triangle instead of a uh, right blue triangle. So, I don't know if I'm going to go for Neville. I mean, I'll, I'll see. We'll see. I might go for him. Might not. Uh, I kind of wished that this week would be a PCC or just no event at all. Because I wanted to take a break. I don't want to, you know, go through two Roads of Glories in a row. But, uh, that's the way it is. We're going to get two Roads of Glories this time around. And, uh, I guess next week's going to be the break. Because I'm assuming next week we get a PCC. Unless they, like, scrap it and there's no event. What if there's, like, another Roads of Glory next week? I hope not. I hope not. So, anyways, what did you guys get in the Kane Roads of Glory? Did you guys end up getting Kane? And, uh, as far as the Ambrose and Randy... PCC. Did you guys get Ambrose? Actually, no, it wasn't Ambrose. Randy won that. Um, I wasn't sure who was going to win that. I mean, you had two top faces facing off. I wasn't sure who was going to win, if it was going to be Ambrose or uh, Randy. Because on one side, on Ambrose, you did get a WrestleMania Roman Reigns if you didn't get Ambrose. That was like the second top prize. Um... You know, you know, Reigns being a face, I assume maybe a bunch of people would going would be going for that. At least the kids or whatever would be going for that. But at the same time, on the Randy side, you had a WrestleMania Seth Rollins. And they already had a WrestleMania Seth Rollins, um, a regular WrestleMania Seth Rollins, by the way, in one of the recent Roads to Glories. I think it was the Daniel Bryan one. So a lot of people had already a WrestleMania Seth Rollins card. So if they went with the Randy option, a lot of people would have gotten an opportunity to pro that Seth Rollins card. And in the end, Randy won. Um, but yeah, I don't think it was by much, right? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't participate in that Road to Glory at all. I didn't play a single match. I didn't get anything. But uh, anyways, you guys are probably wondering which Survivor Fusion card that I get this time. The thing that sucks is that I was, I didn't go ahead and check my Survivor Fusion card until a couple days later because I always want to wait so I can record it. So you know, we see it at the same time. Although, technically, I see it first, but, like, my reaction isn't, like, a post-video reaction or whatever, if, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, I like to kind of do it live, you know? Like, so, if this Fusion Chamber was for Survivor 1 in 22 hours, 25 minutes, or whatever, when it was over, I was only gonna check it out while I recorded and not you know, check it out, and then record the aftermath. I tried to record it, like I said, using the iPad, but freaking the the app I was using, or the program I was using on the PC, which I, I, I spent money on, it, it was freaking terrible. It, the video cut out. It, it's the same freaking thing I used on um, one of my Immortals video, and in that video, like the video quality, or the, uh, the video cut out too, or some parts of it. Uh, you guys can figure out what program that would, that is. Uh, let's just say that program has... They, they had a program before, and now they came out with a brand new one. You can probably figure it out from that hint right there. So, it's time to reveal what my 8th Survivor Fusion was. Who do you guys think it was? Who do you guys think it was? Was it another freaking Roman Reigns card? Was it another Nikki Bella card? Or was it something else? You don't need to be really specific. You don't need to tell me it was Daniel Bryan, Cena, or Ambrose if it's something else. Just say something else or something new. Or Nikki Bella or Roman Reigns. You guys have 8 seconds. I don't know. Random number. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is not another Roman Reigns card. Instead, it is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait a minute. Just... Uh, there we go. It is another 
I mean, not another, it's it's a Dean Ambrose card, which is, I think, the card that I wanted right from the beginning. I wanted Dean Ambrose, and I've been wanting the Fusion Dean Ambrose card for a while, uh, especially once I got the Roman Reigns card. I was like, oh, I hope I get Dean Ambrose next, because he's bottom yellow triangle, and Roman Reigns is a upwards yellow triangle, and I can team him up. And I finally got a Dean Ambrose card. So now I'm actually hoping that in the next Fusion card that I get, Survivor Fusion, is another Dean Ambrose card so I can pro that. And then I'm also, or like a, a Survivor uh, Freddy Blassie card, because I want that card too. So I think that's pretty much it. As far as a subscriber's King of the Ring, um, you know what, what, what day is it today? I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. You know what, um, I think I might just do one tomorrow on Wednesday. So I'll be uploading this video today on Tuesday. So make sure to follow me on Twitter so you know the exact time when I'll be doing a Subscribers King of the Ring on Wednesday. It's going to be on Wednesday, yeah. I think Wednesday is a good day for me. So stay tuned for that. Follow me on Twitter. And it's going to be a Survivor one probably. It's not. It's definitely not going to be a Legendary one. I'm done with that. I don't want to do that anymore. And it's not going to be this lineup that you're looking at right now. So if you're strategizing from, you know, from watching this video, it's not going to work out. You know, because that's not going to be my deck. This was, I don't know why I put this up. I guess I was trying to see which tier I was going to be on just by putting these cards here. Actually, hold on a second. Let me put Kane here. Let me swap this out. Yeah. I'm going to swap out Reigns here. Put my all of my strongest cards that aren't here currently. So Kane. Uh, let me swap out the other Reigns with Seth Rollins. Yeah, we've got two Seth Rollins cards here. Yeah, we're going to make it to WrestleMania like this. I'm just putting, by the way, just my strongest cards here just to see if I'm going to... Yeah, we made it to WrestleMania. So this is going to be the lineup I... Just kidding. This is not going to be the lineup I use. Uh, but yeah. So we can definitely make it to WrestleMania. And I could pro my cards. Yeah, this is interesting. Alright, you know what? It's going to be either a Survivor 1 or a WrestleMania 1. Once again, make sure to stay tuned on Twitter. Follow me there. And I'll... Keep you guys updated and let you guys know in advance um, when it's going to be and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this supercar video. I thought I, I think I said this was going to be a quick little video, but I think this video now is like 20 minutes long or a little bit over 20 minutes. You know what? How about we make it a little bit longer? Let's go into some exhibition matches just because I feel like it. And let's go ahead and face off against Balls. And uh, yeah. By the way, I saw some people with some retro cards, like, um, a uh, WrestleMania Rick Rude card, a WrestleMania Brian, was it a Brian Pillman? I'm not sure. Um, man, I can't, I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, and I saw WrestleMania Jimmy, Jimmy Snooker. There was one dude in Road to Glory that had, like, all the new retro cards. I know they recently added a bunch of, you know, old school cards for WrestleMania and all that. But, uh, yeah, this dude had a bunch of them. Like, he had, like, six of them or something like that. I'm like, how did this guy get all of them? Is there a... Okay, so Tag Team Charisma. Right, I'm gonna go with Triple H and, um, uh, Bret Hart. Yeah, so I'm wondering, is there a, a pack you can buy, maybe, for old school cards? Because how did this guy get all these old school cards, like, this quick? When they just added these cards to the game, it's kind of weird. Alright, so Diva Power. Uh, oh, okay, so we win the match already. That was quick. And, uh, speed, we're gonna go with Seth Rollins. And there we go. Seth Rollins takes him out with, uh, I guess, that kind of looked like a curb stop. You could say that was a curb stop. The card just jumping on the other card. I don't know. You could say it was a curb stop. But, uh, apparently now, Seth Rollins is using the pedigree as his finisher because he used it, of course, at Payback. And then he also used it on, uh, Dean Ambrose a week back. So I definitely think that's his new finisher until he's splits away or leaves the authority. Then, uh, speaking of just WWE TV in general, Elimination Chamber this Sunday, and, uh, Kevin Owens versus John Cena. Looking forward to that one. All right, power. Uh, I'm gonna go with Triple H here. And, uh, do I get it? I think I do. Yes, I do. All right, Charisma, we're gonna go with Bret Hart, and, yes, we get this one as well. So... There we go, we're turning things around. Uh, I really think Nikki Bella is holding holding me back when it comes to this 
this deck. I mean, she's a card that makes this deck unbalanced. So I'm definitely looking to pro her and also pro the other cards. All I need to do now really is level up Kane or max out Kane and then I can, uh, you know, max out the other Kane. Actually, you know what? Let, let's speed up the process here because I know you guys want me to pro my cards. You've been wanting me to, to pro my cards for the longest now. So how about this? Just for you guys, I'm going to speed up the process just a little bit. Let me just find the Kane card here. I started leveling up the Dean Ambrose card and I was like, nah, you know what? I don't really need to level up the Dean Ambrose card right now. That's not my primary concern. So I stopped leveling him up and just spent that time. Okay, there we go. We've got Kane here. Uh, so let's speed it up. I specifically leveled up a Triple H card for this. An epic Triple H card that I didn't need because I already got an epic pro Triple H, which I'm not even using at this point. Uh, let's use him here to boost Kane up. All right, so 32 out of 50. We're getting closer to that max level. Do I have another, like, uh, let's see if I have a super rare or ultra rare that I can use here. Um, uh, yeah, I, I do have some. All right, let's use Jake the Snake. And, uh, he's at level 41 now. I think that's, I think that's fine. I'm gonna keep it like this. And, uh, for the rest of the levels, I'm just gonna use some, you know, cards I get off of Exhibition or probably not because I don't, once again, I don't play Exhibition. Uh, I rarely play Exhibition. When you guys see me exhibition, that's probably the only time I play exhibition when I'm recording. If I'm not recording, I don't really play exhibition. It's I to me exhibition is Road to Glory and PCC. Not even PCC anymore because I don't play that. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, you can click that like button down below for the 2K15 fans. I'll be posting up my career this week. I will definitely make sure not to miss it this week because I. I think I missed the last week and the week before that, and I might be posting up an online match this week. Maybe not. It depends on how much time I've got. If I if I do have the time, I will definitely post it up, and that's it. I'm out. See you guys.